Hey guys, it's Adeline, also known as Cookie Monster on YouTube, and you're watching Trender End, where I test out some of the latest trends blowing up in the internet and tell you if this will last or if it's just another fad. Hello guys and dolls, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get doll makeup because I don't know about you, but as a little kid, I've always wanted to be like Barbie and I wanted to have like perfect makeup, perfect skin. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get the doll makeup. It's been all over the runway conveniently and I've actually seen a lot of people online try it. So I wanna see if it's worth the hype. So basically all that it is is dots underneath your eye and then some clumpy mascara and any sort of shimmery eyeshadow that you have. And it'll make your eyes look very doll-like. It's sort of like 60s Twiggy inspires. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but I'm gonna start off with some eyeshadow. So I'm using this really shimmery CoverGirl eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna like low key use this as a base first. So I'm gonna be putting that on my eyelids like this, and then I'm gonna be blending it with my fingers. This way that the eyeshadow, um, it sticks a lot and it's a lot more vibrant. Okay, now into eyeshadow. I always wear frosty eyeshadow on the inner corners of my eyes. Always, always, always. But not usually so much on the um, on the lids. So we're gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna start off with the inner corner. Wow, this is really pigmented. And putting that all over my lid. I love putting um, frosty whitish eyeshadow on the inner corners because it makes you look awake and it kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it really gives uh, completed look like it makes you look really awake and it kind of like it kind of looks like a highlight I don't know now I'm gonna be highlighting the inner corners of the pencil very and then blending that with my fingers actually I think I'm gonna blend it with a brush Barbie would definitely wear this so I'm gonna put the white pencil also on my lower lash line. This will make your eyes look a lot bigger. So now it's time for the clumpy mascara. I don't know how I feel about clumpy mascara, but we're gonna try it out. So I'm using the Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl. <sighs> so for clumpy mascara, you should put 500 million coats on. So. So now it's the hardest part of the entire look, which is to put a dot underneath your eye and it needs to be completely symmetrical. It can't be the different on each side or else it'll look bad. So one tip that I can give you guys is to always put it underneath your pupil. I think that would help. And try to get as close to the eyelid as possible. I'm gonna use the Super Skinny Marker by NYX. Oh my god. This is so hard. I feel like I can't blink. Also, if you guys want to, you can also use the tip of your mascara wand, which I think looks really cool. So, it's actually a circle at the bottom, so. Hmm. Like Ooh. And then, lastly, you finish up with some pink lip gloss. Barbie's pink, so. This one's really sparkly too, so I think that'd be fun. Na, 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 na. Ooh, it's kind of purpley too. I definitely feel like a doll. I feel like I would so apply this when I was a little kid and I was playing around with my mom's makeup. Not so much if I was like a teenager like right now. Since it's such a girly look and it has the pink lipstick, I feel like I would wear something pink with it or maybe even white to go with the eyeshadow. I feel like that would look cute and really girly. Anything girly I feel like would look really cute with it actually. I feel like the dot really does work on the runway because you're just like, mm, play girl. But like in real life, I feel like you just be like, mm, you smudged your makeup real bad. Did you need a I feel like someone would go up to me and they'd be like, hey, you need a But it's like I meant to do that. This reminds me of like, you know those horror movies and the dolls and they're like So doll eyes, Shender and it. I would say end it. I wouldn't really wear it outside and I think it's a little tad bit creepy and I don't really like the whole um, dot under the eye kind of thing. So unfortunately I would have to say end it. So what do you guys think about this look? Would you ever wear it in real life? Would you try it out? I don't know. Would you like match your doll and like low-key like scare your brother? I don't know. 
So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. Bye.